In this program, we were asked to ask the user for two numbers. So the first thing that we need to do, to, we need to do is create a variable called num1, and we set it to an integer, a whole number, and then input to ask the question, and we put enter a number. Then we need to create another variable called num2 to do exactly the same thing. We need to ask for another number, because it says ask the user for two numbers. Then it says if the user enters add, well, it says ask them if they want the number to be added or multiplied. So we need to ask them another question. So we need to create another variable. We can call it operator this time. And then we ask them uh, input to ask the question and we say, do you want to add or multiply these numbers? So next we need to create an if statement because it says if the user enters add. So to do that, we need to use an if statement. So if operator is equals to add, then we want to add the two numbers together. So add the two numbers and display it on the screen because it says display it on the screen. We need to use a print command. So we use a print command to display the number one added by number two. So number one plus number two. Next it says if the user enters multiply, then multiply the two numbers together. But we have otherwise as well at the end. So we have more than two conditions. Because of that, we need to use elif next. So elif, the operator is equal to multiply. So else if the operator is equal to multiply, and then we put a colon at the end, then it says we need to multiply the two numbers together and display it on the screen. So again, to display it on the screen, we use a print command and we just multiply the two numbers together. So num1 times num2. Remember not to put any quotation mark in here because there are variables and you should not put quotation marks around variables. Otherwise, it will not work correctly says otherwise display wrong answer so we, you know, wherever it says otherwise we need to put else and then we need to display wrong answer so we need the print command to display wrong answer